Hello, welcome back to Oracle DBA tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about memory structure management. That means how do I manage the SGA and PGA and UGA. So, this is the uh, big picture that, that we have drawn before in our previous uh, slides or videos that uh, Oracle memory structure consists of PGA and SGA and in turn, SGA is consist of multiple different pools. So, the point here is that whenever we are going to size how much is the share pool, how much is the buffer cache, how much is the read to buffer and how do I determine that. And so for example, I have a 1 gigabyte uh, server and I would like to have, uh, I, I, I like to size the share pool, buffer cache and read to buffer so that the total memory will be 1 gigabyte. So if you size it too low, then maybe performance will suffer because say for example you you are going to uh, you are going to have a very low db buffer cache if you have very low db buffer cache then maybe like you know you always going to read from the file hence uh, you know the queries are going to take a long time whereas if you for whatever reason you increase that db buffer cache say, to 900 mb so then you just have only 100 mb left on your system so in that case like you know you may not have any much any memory to allocate for a new process whenever we're going to start a new client comes a new dedicated server or shared server is going to start going to be started and we may not have enough memory to for those you know stack space and uh, and so on so in that case you know it's it's very important to 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 figure out what is the best uh, numbers that is going to be for our uh, sizing so there are two ways that you can do that so starting from oracle 10g you can you can size this thing in two ways one is called automatic and second one is called manual so in case of manual uh, management uh, you s you know init dot or a parameter or sp file dot or a parameter you set what is the size of this thing let's say you get db underscore buffer underscore cache is a parameter so db underscore buffer underscore cache is a parameter that determines how big is your buffer cache similarly once is log underscore buffer is another parameter which determines how big is your redo buffer cache and similarly java underscore pool large underscore pool those things will determine how big are your pool size so that is what we that is one way to to set is set the init dot aura parameter okay starting from oracle 10g oracle introduce another way to size this value instead of setting each and individual pool just tell how big your sga will be let's say i just say that okay my sga size will be uh, 1 gigabyte right so in that case what oracle is going to do it is going to dynamically allocate memory to each of them and then it, then as as the workload you know uh, keeps keeps running as users start to use this oracle database then oracle database is going to figure out how should be the shared pool how should be buffer cache and how should be large pool or java pool okay so essentially what is going to do it will learn it will learn while running the you know the queries running the the sql statements oracle will will determine or advise how big will be your shared pool so that is more that is why like you know you need to set a parameter called sga underscore target so let's say you set sga underscore target to 700 mb so in that case all these pools is going to be set to a default value and and then it keeps keeps you know changing dynamically depending on the workload the one thing is that not all these pools can be changed dynamically there are certain pools that can be changed dynamically and you can take a look at a table called $SGA info. So in $SGA info, if you query, you will find out which uh, pools are resizable. Okay, so that means you know certain things is resizable and so other things is a constant value that you supplied at the time of database uh, startup. So this is resizable. So shared pool is resizable always buffer cache is always resizable 
large pool resizable, lava pool resizable, and then streams pool resizable. Only thing that is not resizable is redo buffer. Okay, so redo buffer cannot be resized dynamically. So you need to start if you want to have a second, you know, different uh, value of this uh, of this pool, then you set a parameter called log underscore buffer, and then you restart the database in that way that this parameter is going to be reset. So in this example, whenever we say that SGA target is equal to 700 MB, then Oracle will make sure that all this total together is 700 MB. Let's say we ask as a log buffer is equal to 100 MB. Okay, so let's say this is our how it's going to look like. So this is our SGA target, this is the complete SGA. And out of which I say that 100 MB is for redo buffer. So which I which, which I give at the time of database uh, startup. Then let's say like there are some other fixed value. Let's say that is another 20 MB. So essentially 120 MB is the fixed amount of memory. And then the remaining 580, remaining 580 MB, which is between say buffer cache, share pool, Java pool and large pool and streams pool, right? So all this thing is going to have 580 MB total. So it is going to start with something and then as it learned that you know this system, let's say that we are we are running this thing and maybe it, it will allocate some values to start with. And then whenever somebody is just said doing some select star from EMP or some queries, then we need a bigger buffer. Then it will try to figure out if we, you know, from where it should supposed to decrease, you know, which pool supposed to be decreased so that we can increment the buffer buffer cache. Okay, so all these things are going to happen dynamically. Okay, so the good thing about this is that the system will will do that for you, and then you don't have to worry about changing this init that or a parameter. If you change this init dot or a parameter, then you need to be very proficient of changing this thing. Otherwise, you might be instead of making it good, you might be making it bad. All right. So here is another deal. Like you know, even if I says, even if I set SG underscore target to 700 MB, then I also can set buffer cache to a predetermined value. Let's say I do p buffer cache is equal to 200 MB. So in this scenario, what's going to happen is that let's say this is our SG target is 800. So 100 MB is still gone for this redo buffer. That's 20 MB is gone for this other fixed size. And then database buffer is 200 MB. That means this 200 MB cannot be resized later on. Then whatever like you know we started with the we're totally 700 MB. I think how much we are already consumed 320 MB. So therefore this is 380 MB and this 380 MB can be resized depending on the load or depending on the workload I, I can basically play with a bigger share pool and then less java pool say for example i'm not running any java program then i'm going to have a very low java pool size all right so the advantage of automatic memory management is that we can resize based on the system, the workload and in order to make this thing happen you have to make sure that your statistics level set to true, so that Oracle will will um, you know will will learn how is your uh, you know workload is. Okay, so that is how uh, inter 10G. In case of 11G, what we can so for example in 10G we can set this target. That means SG underscore target we can set. In case of 11G, we can set a, another variable called memory underscore target. So memory underscore target is similar to SGA underscore target, but the difference is that we are going to also include PGA. That means if I set memory underscore target, all the complete memory of Oracle is fixed. Okay, that means also PGA is included. So that is starting with Oracle 11G. Oracle 11G, you can set only one parameter, and that parameter is called memory underscore target. If you set this value then your SGA will be automatically calculated, PGA will be automatically calculated and then the resizable elements of SGA can be dynamically allocated to different values based on the workload. So this is the advantage of 11G that just only one parameter you set. 
there is another parameter is called in case of 10G we have SGA target and also similarly we have a something called PGA underscore target so the same way that whatever SGA target determines the size of SGA PGA target determines what is the size of the PGA and then you have another parameter is called underscore max so for example if I set SGA underscore max underscore target is equal to say 900 so my SGA target is 700 my SGA underscore max underscore target is 900 that means at the start to start with Oracle will allocate 700 MB for SGA but when the workload is running when SQL statements are running on the database it might go maximum up to 900 MB provided all this memory got allocated all right so that is the idea of SGA underscore max underscore target so this is what is all about memory uh, you know concept of the memory um, allocation and how Oracle manages memory is very important and it is always recommended to have some key value like you know set it memory underscore target or SJ underscore target or PJ underscore target and then let Oracle automatically take care of the individual pool size and all this thing so by the way this is the SGA underscore info uh, for my my database and then what I'm showing here is that there are a lot of things that is uh, you know resizable and those are these are the these are the pools that is resizable whereas these pools are not resizable and then one of the important thing is redo buffer redo buffer cannot be resized dynamically during the database run 